Okay, good evening and welcome back to the War Room for an unboxing of Armies of Oblivion I just got. I, I realize this isn't real new and it's been out for a while, but I just finally got my copy. And it's, of course, done by Multiman Publishing under the old Hasbro title, which is now owned by Hasbro. I got my copy from a company called Fine Games out in Oregon. And I have a lot of other of the Advanced Squad Leader ASL modules, but this is the one, of course, that has all of the Axis Miners in it. I have some of the other Axis Miners from some of the other modules I have, but I've been getting back into Squad Leader recently, uh, getting ready for the Yankee ASL tournament down in Massachusetts next month. So I might even do a video of the, uh, maybe a playthrough of a simple game. So I like the box art, nice box art. Uh, MMP does a great job with all of the uh, games and the modules that I've seen them do, of the uh, various squad, advanced squad leader productions. Um, of course, complexity high, as anybody who's played ASL knows, uh, solitaire. Playability is a medium. Uh, the contents of the box are four 8x22 maps, six counter sheets, 32 scenarios, one Axis Minor Chapter H for the rule book, which I must have 200 pages of rules by now at least with all the, the uh, various chapters, and three overlay sheets. And it gives you a little picture here of the different uh, counters, the green ones for the Axis Miners. So, without further ado, let's open it up and see what we got. <coughs> there we go. So, first thing we come up with is the typical thank you for purchase and all the contact number advertisements and then we have the chapter H all the vehicle notes for the various equipment and nationalities that are represented in here so flipping through a few pages quickly it's the uh, standard high quality of all of the uh, work that they've done in recent years on these uh, modules and counters and upgrades and additions uh, for the squad leader system and more looks like uh, a new set of, of uh, hmm, chapter A looks like so it's an update for chapter A as well in here Huh, quite a quite a few pages it looks like to replace in the main rule book. So, yeah, big section of chapter A for the infantry rules. And a section of what, chapter D to replace as well. So I'll be doing some upgrading of my main rule book later, as well as some counter clipping, I'm sure. Quite a bit of that to do to get ready. Uh, and it looks like some chapter S as well in here. And the obligatory blank page, as well as some overlays. Looks like railroad tracks, mostly, which is the first uh, set of railroad tracks I've seen in the game so far. Because I by no means have all of the uh, all of the modules, but I have the main ones. I have uh, all of the starter kits. I have uh, the last hurrah. I have valor of the guards. Uh, I have uh, decision at Elst. 
and I have, of course, the core modules. I have Beyond Valor, Yanks, and Hake Pale, or however you pronounce that. Pardon me, anybody in Finland who is watching, or anybody that knows Finnish. Now, the counter sheets, the exciting part. Uh, let's see, what else have we got in here? Well, let's see, we'll, one thing at a time. So we've got we've got the large size counters. Uh, there's even some anti-tank guns. Looks like some Russian anti-tank guns. Uh, all of the Axis Minor counters. A few updated Russian counters. Some more markers on this one. And the standard, the backside, with the broken markers, etc., etc. Uh, another overlay, looks like yeah, a large river overlay. And more, let's see, what do we have here? Vehicles, uh, including some, looks like some uh, tiger tanks for their allies. And uh, armored cars, more anti-tank guns, some trucks, so quite a few vehicles. And what do we got here? Axis Minor generation tables, activation check, so various game tables for the miners and I was going to say there must be more counters in here yeah here's another more a lot more artillery anti-tank guns some more trucks uh, some more vehicles and the two different color schemes for axis miner the, uh, the blue gray around green and then the solid green Let's see, we'll see, put the map to one side and save that. We'll look at all of them together. The overlays, more overlays to go with the maps. And we'll see, oh, let's see, let's take it, everything out here. Let's see what we've got. More overlays. Hmm, I've never played with the overlays, but... Uh, so far none of the scenarios I've ever played have called for them. Uh, some more cheat sheet tables, oh, another map, more vehicle counters. Wow, quite a few of the large vehicle counters. Front and, and the typical back sides. Another map. And then here's the infantry. So we have the, the two different types. The uh, blue around the green and then the solid green markers, uh, various things, flamethrowers, mortars, anti-tank rifles. So there should be everything here for the Axis miners for the whole war. It's quite extensive. Counter sheets, here's all of the solid green axis miners with all the various engineer to conscripts broken down into half squads, uh, crews, leaders, heroes, uh, pretty much everything that's normally all the light machine guns. Oh, medium machine guns and a heavy machine gun, so everything that you normally find and runs the whole gamut of squad leader counters. So all together we've got one, two, three, four, five, six counter sheets. So definitely we'll be doing a lot of counter clipping in the next
few evenings. Oh good, and these look like they come out fairly easily so I won't have to be cutting them out. It looks like the die cutting is uh, well just about struck through because these are falling right out so that's good. I really hate having to fight with them and the uh, exacto knife them all out of there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Oh, another blank piece of paper. The traditional green piece is gone. It used to be a traditionally you got a blank green piece of paper to go with every game. I <laughs> don't know why. And it's quite, looks like quite a extensive, extensive library of double-sided uh, scenario cards. So there's quite a few of them. Covering... I'll have to have to go through them and look, but uh, covering about everything that you could think of. Uh, Polish looks like against the Germans. Uh, partisans, different partisans, Romanians, uh, Croatians, the Balkans. Yugoslavs against the Hungarians, and on and on and on. So, quite an extensive list. I think, what did it say on the back of the box? 32 scenarios all together? Uh, yep, 32 ASL scenarios. So, quite a nice package all together. So, there is an extensive list of scenarios to keep you busy and then here's the uh, map number 48 to a little village crossroad and some gullies and map 49 with a little bit larger buildings and it looks like more gully and swamp uh, I don't see anything new in the way of terrain there stone fences and map 50 with a large one two three four level hill looks like on it and nice the use nice map the usual great quality good graphics nice clear crisp and map 51 which is the another city map by the look of it, uh, quite a extensive built up stone building area. So again, uh, another another beautiful job by MMP, a great addition I've been looking to pick up for a while. Uh, for my other modules, I'd like to get all the core modules eventually. Quad Aguerre is coming out soon, I see. Uh, hopefully I'll pick that up, that'll add the French. And then for King and Country, I see the uh, British module is coming out soon, um, hopefully this year. I'll be able to pick that one up. And then, I don't know about the Japanese. I've never been all that wild about the uh, Japanese um, Pacific Theater, but I did order the Starter Kit 4, which has the Japanese and the Marines in it. And of course, anything that's got the Marines in it can't be bad. So I'll give that a try, and then who knows, maybe if they ever come out with the Japanese uh, uh, module, I'll pick that up again, and then uh, we'll get uh, the other uh, Allied Miner module. I don't know when that's scheduled for reprint, but um, hopefully Doom Battalions will be out again soon, and, and then Hollow Legion for the Italians, and that would be all the core modules, which would be nice to have, and I'd look forward to picking them up. So again, just a quick look at Armies of Oblivion. Uh, looking forward to uh, playing some of these scenarios and getting ready for the uh, Yankee ASL Nor'easter tournament down in uh, Fairhaven, Mass. At the end of March, you know, I'll have to get practiced up so I don't get too badly wiped out. So uh, if I do a playthrough, I'll expect lots of comments and uh, pointers on the uh, playthrough, so you can help me figure out what I'm doing wrong and to do a better job. And again, uh, thanks for watching. Well, and uh, the uh, 
playthroughs should be coming soon. Uh, may do a couple of other uh, box opening uh, reviews of components, but uh, another great job by MMP. Thanks a lot for watching the War Room. And remember, no fighting in the War Room. Good gaming. Good night.